Hello everyone, so now I'm going to discuss example 13c. Given that z is equal to negative 5, negative 5i. So now first thing we are going to locate the z. So as we all know, this is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis. And the location of the z will be in the third quadrant. Step number two, we are going to find the modulus of z. So in this case, modulus of z is equals to square root of 25 plus 25. And we will have square root of 50. So if we simplify, our modulus of z will be equals to square root of 25 multiplied with square root of 2. And finally, we have 5 square root of 2. Step number three, we're going to look for the alpha. So in this case, alpha is located in the third quadrant. So arc tangent B is equals to five. A is equals to five. So do remember, we have to ignore or neglect the value, the, the sign, just take the value. So our alpha will be equals to 45 degree or in the form of radian would be pi over 4. So step number 4, we're going to look for the argument. So in this case, here will be the location for argument clockwise. So this is the argument of z. So now we're going to look for the argument of z. So argument of z would be negative pi plus with pi over 4. So argument of z will be equals to negative 3 pi over 4. So finally, z is equals to 5 square root of 2 bracket cos argument, which is negative 3 pi over 4, plus i sine bracket argument negative 3 pi over 4. So here we are and thanks for watching.